Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not have game music. Now I do have game music. So at the bottom left position is the Teal Protoss. We have DM White, and at the bottom right as the White Terran, we have SCC Zero Crow, who uh, I believe is in fact Zero Crow. And is it just me or is this, well, no, I think everything's normal. I don't know, for some reason the text looked a little bit smaller to me. But I think I might just be, might just be going crazy. I mean, battle light isn't working, so, yeah. Seems good, Blizzard, seems good. That's strange, I thought Rhett was streaming just now on Battle.net. Is it just that everyone who's already on Battle.net can keep playing, but everyone who hasn't logged on yet is kind of stuck? That's, that'd be kind of mean. That, that kind of suck. Also, Zero Crow, I'm going to get all 550 APM. The classic here. The Spamarinas. <clears throat> oh, Red got booted off. Oh, well that... That definitely makes sense. Wait, does that... Oh my god, this is perfect. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Guys, I just realized something. It's actually the opposite. Blizzard didn't ban me. Blizzard... Blizzard is, Blizzard is trying to help me, help me out here. You know why? Because since I'm casting from replays, it doesn't matter if Battle.net is down. But if Battle.net is down, no other StarCraft streamer can actually play games. They can't play multiplayer. You know, so unless they, like, they play the campaign, there's actually nothing for them to stream, which means EVERYBODY has to watch my stream. If they want to watch StarCraft. Aw, yeah! High five, Blizzard. I knew you guys had my back. Good job, Blizzard. This is... This is well played. Why did the probe go, like, here? And instead of continuing it on, go back to the middle and then go top right. Do you guys see this path on the minimap? I'm a little bit con confused about White's scouting path here. But, uh... But yes, Blizzard definitely... Definitely doing a good job here with this Battle.net nonsense. <laughs> Alright, so Orca's gonna see each other. Is he really gonna go top left? That would be really sad for him. D did he just like expect a scouting SCV to be coming out here or something? <laughs> okay, so White's gonna White's gonna get the latest possible scout off. Did he actually go Zealot? Wow, he's gone two Zealots first here. Man, White, White going a little bit ham. Normally you just skip zealots and go straight goons, right? Like normally this late scout actually doesn't matter that much, um, because like un until your core is finished, your build is just the same anyway. He's actually going two gate power goon. I like this build, but I never do it with two zealots though. I'm not sure how it works with two zealots. Like the initial two zealots against Terran, unless he's fast expanding, I don't feel like they do that much on a normal map like this. If this was like Aztec and he built a forward gateway, then maybe. But look at this, is this even a tight wall? Well, surely that's not a tight wall. I thought you need three buildings here to make a tight wall. Is that really tight with just these two? Maybe, maybe it is actually, huh. Well, look at that. Like the diagonal between barracks and factory is really stupid. Like this, this actually, I think does block. So this actually might be a full wall, which makes these zealots useless. You see what I mean? Like, this is why, this is why initial zealots are not, not great. Good old kicks, confirming that that is in fact a tight wall. Uh, and uh, and Mr. Mr. White's gonna get uh, gonna get scouted here. So some two gate two gate power goon action coming out here. He's gonna build the gonna build the command center in the main base. Gonna have to be a little bit careful. He's only building two marines here. Interesting. This is actually quite quite interesting that kicks is actually here now to see this. So. My recommendation is going Siege Expand too. So apparently going two Marines when you Siege Expand is normal. Now I feel like if you only have two Marines when you Siege Expand against two Gate Goon, you can be in some trouble. However, this is a good wall. And so as long as he's careful with the positioning, it's probably fine. Actually, actually, I was gonna I was gonna tell the, tell you that quick, so I completely forgot. The the reason I said you should build more than two Marines is I don't think you wall in TVP, do you? See, that's a problem. I think if you go Siege Expand, you, you kind of have to wall. The reason Terrans don't wall in TVP anymore is because they go FD all the time. But now that I think about it, the reason that two Marines is standard when you Siege Expand is because you do it with a wall. 
Anyway. Um. Yeah. So, got one tank out here. You see, if uh, this could have been four goon, if you hadn't made these two zealots, I think this could have been four goons already. And depending on how lucky you feel, you can just run up and kill this. All right, that's that's not really the way to do it. You should you should attack the siege tank if he wants to do this. You can shoot it from the low ground. You can totally just walk here and shoot it. I don't know what he's doing. He's actually just trying to run up. Oh god. Oh god, the barracks is lifted though. Oh my god, just run up, man. Oh no, the SCV block. Oh god. <laughs> oh well, he's gonna get the second tank. He's gonna get the second tank. He might get the first tank. He might actually break this. Oh my god, he lost. He lost almost all the dragoons with the siege tank. Is it siege with the zealots actually killing everything? This is gonna be a really fast game. Oh god, and the tank is dead. <laughs> Oh man, that was uh, that was not a great idea. I mean, he saw the two zealots too, right? And he still lifted this off. Like, if there were only four dragoons, and you want to lift off when the second tank comes out because you already have siege once sieged up, I can potentially understand this. Uh, but when you see two zealots and four dragoons down there, that's uh, it's a little bit optimistic. Hey, thank you for the host, Brett. That's pretty awesome. I, I, I guess I guess you're having some battle net troubles, uh, which I have sneakily avoided by casting from replays in single player mode. <laughs> also, I don't know why for some reason my my stream alerts doesn't show the the host at the moment. I think it's a little bit broken or something. I need to figure out what's going on there. But yes, thank you very much, Mr. Rett. All right. Well. Uh, Zero Chrome has actually somehow not died to this, which is, uh, it's pretty good, I guess. Being in a state of not losing the game is always, always optimal when you're playing StarCraft. But he, he lost a lot of SCVs. He's got 10, 11, actually. Two out of his 11 mineral SCVs are idle, which seems really bad. Uh, and he's got, uh, he's got another three down here on the natural. I guess this is a depot guy, and he didn't shift-click it back. <clears throat> Definitely something you guys, uh, you guys should do in your O games when you're uh, when you're building uh, building buildings. I mean, this obviously applies to Kratos and Terran. After you build something, if you hold Shift and right click back to your minerals, your guy will go back automatically after uh, after building the thing because uh, it is a it is a queued up order. You should probably also lift this and use it to go spot something like maybe behind the natural or even to to make the wall at the front a little bit stronger. Like, this, this engineering base, it's not like he's gonna upgrade from it, so might as well lift it off and, and go do something useful. Now, in the meantime, we have uh, this thingy. What's it called? Nexus, there we go, third base. Third base here, ooh, double forge as well from white. That's actually really greedy. To go for that, uh, to go for that double forge straight away. So he's he's gone basically fast third base and double forge. Now, normally that would let you just die to, you know, like a three or four fact Terran attack. Uh, but in this case, since he did so much damage with the initial attack, you can probably get away with this. So would definitely, would definitely not recommend this uh, normally. But if you're this far ahead, I guess so. See, he's even teching at the same time. Man, this is, this is so greedy. He's going for his tech, his upgrades, and the, uh, the fast third. Also, I feel like I feel like double forge. I don't know. I, I I only really like it in PVZ, maybe PVP, but rarely do you get to a situation where you're getting that many upgrades. Oh my god, is this bio? Yeah, it is. <laughs> He's going biomech, four racks, two fact tank pumping, zero chrome, going for the two base all in attack here. And he's getting plus one at rank ground attack. All right. Well, I guess I guess if you're gonna go for bio and get plus one attack, then it's fair enough that you're not gonna lift off your engineering bay. I actually see Mikami saying the exact same thing as me, yeah. So uh, armor upgrade in PBT doesn't help that much because of how much like uh, shot per damage a tank does. Like a tank in siege mode does 75 da or 70 damage rather. Uh, so I mean, is one armor out of 70 damage really gonna help you that much? Probably not, probably not. Whereas, if you compare it to, say, PBZ, where a Zergling only does 5 attack per damage, or 5 damage per attack, that actually does a lot. Definitely, definitely does a lot. So, yeah, this is, uh, 
It's gonna be an all-in, and interestingly, the Observers of White do not go into the base. They actually can go in. There's a turret down here, but he can just ro Well, actually... Uh, there's like a very narrow corridor in which he can go in, but he doesn't know about this. So he's gonna see the tank, still doesn't see any bio. If I were- if I were white right now, I might be slightly- wow, actually building all the medics first. If I were- if I were white, I would be slightly curious about the lack of vultures running around right now. So yes, there was a vulture that poked around to the third. Uh, but- but there's- there's- there's like siege tanks moving out here, right? And why are there no vultures laying mines like here? Or just sitting in front of the siege tanks? That- that's a little bit weird. I would find that slightly strange. I wouldn't necessarily think that meant bio, but I would definitely be a little bit puzzled by that. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what his reaction here. Now, interestingly, uh, so the, the, the two main responses to bio are, are Reavers and Storm, right? He's actually got the Templar tech available. So if he did send his OBS in here, he could immediately just build a couple of High Templar and research Storm, but he's not gonna do that. He will have Stasis. Maybe. It, it's gonna be a while before the Arbiter comes out, and then he needs to get the energy. If you can get a really good stasis on a bunch of tanks, that should help a lot as well. But this is gonna be a pretty strong push. By the way, I pointed out the medics were built first earlier. That's actually a really good move, because you can see it allows them to build up their energy, um, you know, while they're waiting here. So building the medics as the first round is quite nice. Looks like he actually went up to, uh, to five barracks here. I wonder if the- actually wait, wasn't the barracks here? I wonder if the OBS saw the barracks lift off and go back in, because that would be a pretty big tell. I mean, regardless, he sees it now, right? So he definitely sees it now. Wait, he has three OBS at the front- wait, what the heck? Wait, White has three observers at pretty much the exact same place on the map, which is not particularly useful. And now I think White is in serious trouble, because while Medic Marine is not good against Reavers or uh, or Storms. It's pretty decent against just plain Zealot Dragoon here. Like the it's this shuttle with Zealots is not going to be able to get up to the siege tanks, right? The, the the Marines are just going to shred it. Plus one attack is actually done. The Arbiter is out. I wonder if he can abuse. No, there's actually plenty of cloaks here. Look at that. There's uh, there's at least four scans here. <clears throat> Wait, did I say plenty of cloaks? I meant plenty of scans. So there's actually four scans right now. If you can get one stasis, he needs 30 more energy. If you can get one stasis on like five siege tanks, he could potentially break this. He's building, he's queued up like six Dark Templar. <laughs> that, wait a minute, wait a minute. That, that might actually not be a bad idea because if he can basically use up one Terran scan per Dark Templar, oh no, he could actually, he could actually, uh, then use the Arbiter with his main army to come out here. And here we go! He's going in here! No scan yet! Delayed scan from the Terran! Wait, what is he doing? Oh my god, it's because the goons are coming in from the top side! There's the scan! He actually built a turret here as well. The goons running away. The Zealot's still there, but look how much damage the plus one Marines actually do. Alright, so it looks like uh, he, he, his scan was late because he was busy looking at the top side here. 83 supply now for Terran against... 70 for the Protoss. Looks like another scan there, but see if he keeps this DT alive He just needs to use up all of the scans. Four Dragoons still on the top side. There is another scan used The natural expansion is getting busted down here. Mass 1-1 Dark Templars. How many- how much energy does he have? Oh my god, he still has got two- Wow, he still has three scans. Okay, so this- this, this Protoss is pretty dead here. Going for that greedy build. Man, I- I thought for- I thought Protoss was in a really good position after Terran uh, lifted his barracks. I thought I thought White might actually just win the game off that, but it looks like it looks like the all-in attack is just going to kill him. He's still got three ops here though. He's got got plenty of vision seeing that nothing else is, is coming. Uh, I think it's just kind of a matter of time now. Interestingly we do have high Templars though. Did he get storm? I don't see anything researching. I guess we'll see in a second. I mean, he's got no units left, though. Uh, Alright, there's... Oh, the ramp stasis! That could buy a lot of time. He needs to not lose his High Templar if he does have Storm, though. That could be a really good Storm right there. He's got energy. He's gonna do it! Oh, Psyonic! And he gets all the medics, it seems. Yeah, no more medics that I can see. That'll be really helpful. No more healing for these Marines after they stim. These four goons should probably do something, like cut off the reinforcements. Because without without any assistance, four goons could easily kill all these marines. I'm pretty sure. Oh boy. 
Well, this guy's actually almost gonna have a storm as well. That stasis lasts a really long time. <laughs> this is a... Uh, this is a little bit strange. Strange situation. Terry going up to 1,500 minerals and no gas because he hasn't taken his natural geyser. Alright, looks like... Oh, he's rolling up into the third base here. Gonna kill off the double forge. Gonna siege up and kill some proverinos. And White is, uh, White is looking in pretty bad shape right now. Zero club, zero chrome. Uh, with the Medic Marine bust here. I mean, to be fair, Nyokin did it, what, like three or four times at the, uh, at the SE Remastered launch event, and he actually won several of those games, I'm pretty sure. All right, well, it looks like Speedlot's actually running down here into the tank line. Where's, where's the rest of the dude? There's more tanks in the back, but he's actually gonna clear up. Wow. Clearing up the front line of tanks here, but the third base is gone. Ten kills, four kills, a few probes just hiding in a corner. Protoss down to one base now. He also, since he, since he didn't really save any of the probes at the natural or the third, he's only got 11 mining minerals right now. Although Terran is actually still pretty low on SCVs himself. Wow, Ter looks like, looks like Chrome, Zero Chrome is actually just really scared of getting recalled or something, like a big recall counter. Hey, there's another storm. Oh my god, he actually runs back into it, and now he's a little bit stuck. Wait, how, how is he actually holding this? I can't believe it. I thought, I thought uh, Zero Chrome was just going to walk into his base and kill him. But somehow, I guess thanks to that stasis buying a ton of time. Uh, and then the High Templar is coming out. He's actually somehow holding this. Oh god, the Nexus is gonna fall. Alright, I think it's time for the Manor Command Center, guys. I think it is, t in fact, time for the Manor CC. Alright, here we go! Another nice big storm! Can we get one more? Oh man, he needs to not run suicide! The no, the dudes! The High Templars, no! No, you needed those. Oh, the goon, he finally found the goons, though. Oh god, oh god, the goo, you didn't even kill one siege tank with those. Oh man, unlucky. Down to 50 supply against 78. Interestingly, pretty much all of the marines are dead right now, so if he just runs out with a whole bunch of zealots, he could actually kill a lot of stuff. If he, if he just purely maxes on, how many gateways? One, two, oh, he's only got four gateways left. No, he's got five. If he makes pure speed lot right now, you can actually just run in and kill these, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why there's no more marines coming out. I mean, he's making it a few. The macro the macro from Zero Chrome seems slightly lacking, but he's getting a third command center now at 3 o'clock. And he's finally taken his, uh, his natural gas. Meanwhile, White, probably, probably just going to go for one more big attack and then type out afterwards. Oh no, the double forge, not like this. Uh, Alright, well. I think we're just gonna have to, uh. Have to wait for Mr. White to surrender here. I think this is kinda like the, the kicks GG timing right here, the, the never give up, never surrender timing. He's gonna check the 6 o'clock. I mean, he's got two obs here. He could check the 9 o'clock too if he wants. Might as well. Come on. Come on, obs. You can do it. What are, what are these guys even doing here? Come on, do something. Come on, go check the 3 o'clock. Oh, he's doing it! It worked! Hey, look! My spam clicking actually made him... Guys, I'm a freaking genius. You see this? You see this? This, this, is, why, this is why I can still cast StarCraft with Battle.net being down. Cause I'm so I'm so godly, I can make units move in a replay. You guys see that? Guys, I'm a genius. You, did, like, did, did you see that? I legit made this observer move. It's amazing. All right, let's have a got the massive barracks load here. He's getting some factories. Finally, spent all his money. Interestingly, he's decided not. <laughs> uh, what's up, guys? Interestingly, he's decided not to actually kill his opponent and just uh, just expand and go back into factories. And I mean, we got we got five high templars here. Five storms is a lot. Could do some serious work. I mean, White's dead. I guess he'll just wait until he's mined out. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is it. 
All right, we got one good storm. I think these, these two are already stormed, right? Oh, that's a good one. That's a very good one. He's breaking out. <laughs> He's doing it. White's doing it. Wait, make an Argon. Make an Argon. No. Argon. Yes. And we're dead. We are so dead. Boom. Got him. Are we dead? Are we not dead? Uh. Oh! I mean, he's 34 supply against 95. He's got no mining right now. Where did that probe go? Oh, the probe went to the 12. But there's already an SCV there waiting for him. Hey! And the game ends. Alright. Well, there you go, guys. <laughs> Alright, so at the 12 o'clock position as the Peach Zerg, we will have Peacemaker. And at the 6 o'clock as the Purple Protoss, we will have Sunshine. Alright. PVZ on destination. This could definitely get uh, a bit ugly. Wait, Kix, is ladder back up? Is is battle light working again? I thought it's not working. Did they fix it? Freaking blizzard, guys. Freaking blizzard. All right, so I don't see anything. I don't see anything too cheesy coming out from uh, from either player. That's that's not. What are you supposed to put the violin? Is it? How do you make the wall like this? So like one good wall for example is you put the pylon here and you put the forge like tucked into this thing and you put the gateway on top and the cannon in the hole and, and that's a nice wall. Uh, how do you... How do you actually do it from here? Let's have a look where he builds his forge. You could go for like two gateways I guess. <laughs> but uh... We'll see. Alright we're gonna see an overpool here from Sunshine. Oh, it is a gateway opening. Looks like it's gonna be a gateway expand. All right, so Nexus goes like, does does that touch the Nexus? I don't think it does. I think it leaves a gap. Uh, maybe it does. And then what? Do you do like forge here or something? Can you actually fit a forge here? I don't actually know. All right, well, ba -ba -ba, looks like. Oh, got that pylon down. Man, it'd be really cool if uh, if we could actually multi-select units and pylons, or and buildings, I guess. Blizzard, please. Actually, you know what? I I'd be okay with more just like fixing the chat bug. I think I think the only thing that really bugs me that's still in the game is the freaking battle net chat bug. <laughs> he actually lets us finish. Uh, you know, the one where you can't see see other people typing. Wait, Foxhand, didn't you didn't you like make a post on Battle.net about that? Did, did they say anything? Wait. <laughs> All right. Well, let me tell you guys. I've seen a lot of games of StarCraft in my day, in my time. I've seen a lot of games on Destination. I have played a lot of games on Destination, and I have never seen a wall like this. So there you go. Wow, Mikami with the BM. Dude, I'm 2k MMR. I'm not even joking, man. I'm actually uh, like 2060 something. Wait, is he dead? Oh god, no! No! Sunshine! Alright, apparently the first cell just died immediately. Alright, here come the probes! Oh man, that's actually a really timely probe pull. I didn't even notice. This is actually really far from the main mineral line. Oh, oh man, look at that! Two more Zerglings down. He should have just gone for the cannon. I don't know why Peacemaker just didn't kill the cannon. He could have just won the game straight out, I think. Done the good old Eon Zerg style. Uh, just kill him with Zerglings when facing the gateway expand. Wait. Oh no! Oh no, he might lose the Overlord! Oh. Oh, come on, man, probes. Ah! Ah! Overlord dead. Ling's dead. Look at this! Look, look at this man probe. This man probe killed two Zerglings. Look at the, wait, let's go look at him. Wait, where'd he go? It's this guy right here. No, 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 wait. It's the guy I selected. Where'd he go? Alright, he's busy. 
He's taking a break. Alright, alright, whatever. You, you, you know what? You deserve a break, my friend. You definitely deserve a break. Oh, it looks like uh, more Zerglings are out. It looks like there's eight links still, avail uh, still out on the map. So, Sunshine has to be careful. The problem for Sunshine, does this block the Nexus? Wow, it actually doesn't. Alright, so... Sunshine apparently just has a genius level wall here. That's not even close to blocking the Nexus. Well, I mean, technically they're kind of touching on the diagonal, right? So, so I guess it kind of, it's kind of close. Alrighty then. Okay, apparently Blizzard is investigating the chat bug. We got a four hatch opening, by the way, from uh, from Peacemaker. It's kind of funny that these hatches are like <laughs> even build this one first. He didn't even build this touching the cliff either to be like an anti anti rumbai hatchery. Looks like uh, looks like Sunshine is looking for the third base. It's not on the left side. It's actually on the right side. For some reason, the links just go back instead of killing this. It's kind of strange. It's like Pro Guy just gonna say, "It's gonna high five Panda Bear Guy." What's up, dude? Panda Bear Guy's just checking out the hole in the ground, looking for borrowed zerglings. Alrighty. I wonder what Panda Bear Guys eat. I mean, there's like a little bit of vegetation on this map. There's not much, right? Do you guys think like like Panda Bear Guy's a, a scavenger or something? He just eats all the the leftover dead zerglings from all the games of StarCraft being played on Destiny or something like that. I'm sure there's a ton of dead bodies that you can that you can scavenge if you're you know like a vulture or something. Vulture is in like the the bird, not not as in the Terran unit. <laughs> all right. Well, looks like four zealots. Gonna waltz into the third base here. The Zerglings were actually on the wrong side of the map. They, they, they should be able to take this, right? Well, it's 12 links against 4 lots with a little bit of drone stacking. I think it should be fine. I think it, I don't think these Zealots should really do that much here. Alright, so one guy's gonna get trapped. He's going after the Zel- uh, uh, sorry, the drones. He actually gets one. The Zerglings are actually stacking on themselves a little bit. Wait, they're actually attacking while stacked! Wait, did you guys see that? Instead of bugging out, they were attacking while sitting on top of each other. Guy, that's so OP. Wait, that that's not fair. Wait, what? You're supposed to bug out if you're stacked. Wow, that that went so much better than I thought it was. Because he was not attacking in a great position. <laughs> this wall is amazing. <laughs> this is this is actually awesome. Oh man. All right. Well, what else do we got here? We got some gas. Seems pretty good. He's got a pile on here to give himself vision of the minerals, make sure no shenanigans are occurring in the back of his base, and he's getting his gateway. So, so Sunshine seems to know what's going on. And also, I just noticed Sunshine has an exclamation mark in his in his name. You know, so I, I feel like maybe I should be saying his name with a little more enthusiasm. You know, a little bit more like uh, like you know happy Broadway musical voice. But I'm I'm far too tired today to act, even attempt such a thing. So we're just gonna leave it be. Just imagine that every time I say sunshine, I'm I'm like doing a little little uh, hand wavy thing, you know, doing a little little dance, and then you will get you will get the idea. So we got Lurker Tech on the way. Uh, got. Wow, we got a fairly late leg speed, actually. Is that a late leg speed? To be fair, he doesn't have many zealots left after losing the initial four, so maybe it's not. Maybe that's fine. <laughs> He's getting his archives now as well. I mean, I'm so used to seeing uh, Protoss players in PvZ nowadays go for early uh, plus one speed lot aggression that seeing the, the speed so late is kind of weird to me, but it's not, it's not, it's not that bad. Uh, Lurker contains on this map though are really bad, so Sunshine would definitely not want to allow uh, allow Peacemaker to hold the other side of his bridges. That is just so horrible. Interestingly, Sunshine. Oh no, his plus one finished. I was gonna say he's not getting an upgrade, but his plus one actually finished already. Now speed is a pretty quick upgrade, relatively speaking. So. He could, he could actually start running his zealots out on the map right now, and he would have 8 plus 1 zealots. Like, this is not the worst thing in the world. It's still a little bit later than usual, I think. We're coming up on 9 minutes now. But, uh, but you know, definitely 
should make sure he at least knows about what's going on. I guess the Corsairs keep flying around in the middle, just make sure you see what's going on. He sees the Lurkers, actually. I think he should actually move out with the Zelds and block them a little bit. See, if you had Zelds on the middle of the map, you could, like, force them to borrow early and get some free damage on. But, uh, but instead he just stayed in the back. Looks like leg speed has finished now. So we definitely could have done that. Does he have a Robo yet? He's getting Goon range. He's... Does not have a robot, okay. <laughs> the Peacemaker, unfortunately for him, borrowed the Lurker just barely in range of the cannon. I, I feel like that's actually just a bit unlucky because look at that, the Lurker died right here. That looks barely in cannon range, right? That definitely, like I could definitely see how he might have thought that was actually not in cannon range. And then he could just hit the gateway. But fortunately for him, it doesn't quite work out like that. And it looks like uh, some Zorgan is gonna find this probe trying to sneak this left side base. Are they going to come defend it? No, they're actually going for the counterattack across the middle of the map here. Are there any defensive lurkers? There are not. Only hydras, but there's quite a few hydras. You know, it looks like a Peacemaker taking that, that protected back base. Yeah, I don't think these, uh, I don't think these close ones out are really going to do too much. Just going to pull back. There are 11 of them, but... Oh, wait. Alright, and... Wow, he's actually... He's actually killing a lot here. The Hydra's have plus one attack too, but oh my god, wait, they don't have Hydra speed! Oh man, he actually doesn't have Hydra speed yet. Wait, is he getting it? He's not even getting it. Oh, oh, it just finished. It literally just finished, okay. So, <laughs> right as I went to check the Hydralisk then, speed finished. That pylon definitely blocks the Nexus, right? There is no way that that pylon doesn't block the Nexus. However, Peacemaker's actually coming down here. He might actually kill this manor pylon for, uh, for Sunshine here. In fact, he's definitely going to kill this, so this was actually the bait pylon, and P dude, Peacemaker, Peacemaker should definitely leave, leave this alive. There's no way you can put a Nexus in here. No, leave it! No, it's a Matter Pylon! Peacemaker, you killed the Matter Pylon, man. What's wrong with you? Alright, anyway, it looks like, uh, looks like... Sunshine's army is moving out, and we're gonna get... Oh! The second storm actually does go off here. Holy moly. Alright, nicely done. Nicely done by Sunshine. What else do we got going on? We got some ground weapons. Or ranged weapons, rather. Plus two rank weapons on the way for Peacemaker. The supplies are quite close, which is usually not good for Protoss. He's getting another macro hatchery. Peacemaker really staying, or getting that infrastructure going. I was gonna say staying on top of his macro, but then I realized he actually has 1,400 minerals, which is not great. 92 supply now. It gets 92. It's actually quite even. He needs to get some good storms. Oh, there's no energy actually on these Templars. He's gonna immediately morph them into an Archon. Templar coming in from the back. I still don't see an Observer here. Not a good storm. Nicely dodged by Peacemaker. And I think Sunshine might die right here. Oh man, Peacemaker goes for the win and GG. Peacemaker takes the win. Wait a minute, did I get the score wrong? Wait, was it? Who's? Oh no, I had the score, I had the score backwards, I think. Whoops! <laughs>